Hey there, my name is Murray. Welcome to this video. We're going to look into some After Effects callout titles, some very powerful ones at that. Um, this did take a lot of time to make and all that kind of fun jazz. So I really appreciate your support. You can get them down in the description, also in the top right in the cards. Go ahead and grab those. You can download them and use them for your own projects. Customize them however you want. But I'm not going to waste a lot of your time. Let's jump in. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and uh, obviously you have your blank composition. You just open After Effects, just right click and you can do import and you can just import a file. And uh, here's how we're going to open this project. So we're going to go to wherever you've downloaded the callout. Uh, let's see, it'll be in here. Yep, right in here. So I'm going to open that. And once it's through, you'll see all of the compositions, the titles, and everything else that goes along with it. And so there you can see the folder here that you imported. You got all of your callout titles. So here's your solids. You don't need to play around with that. And uh, here's all your titles. So one through six. And uh, let's just open number six. Six is my favorite. And uh, this is pretty much it. You can uh, open this into a, a folder. So let's just uh, let's see. Let's import a video so that we can use this and let's say that this is our video it's 1920 by 1080 whereas the composition for these is 4k so i'll show you how to deal with that but let's just create a new composition let's just say this is a video right now it's a picture but just ignore that fact and uh then to have this uh, let's see this call out title in the earth project here what you're going to do is you're going to unlock these select them all copy them and then paste them in here. Now you can see they're obviously too big. So here's how we're going to combat that. So you can see this is the main title here. If I hide it and show it, you can see it. So I'm just going to scale that down to, I don't know, that seems okay, I think. And I'm just going to show the original names. Here's the handle. So this is where you control this. Let's put this, I don't know, way up here. And uh, let's just get the start. Let's move it in frame here. We can also scale down that square. So pull up the scale properties. Let's put it at three. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, obviously, the line is too thick. So you can customize the line by just clicking on the line over here. Go into your fixed controls. Here's the thickness here. So I'm going to take it down to maybe four. Yeah, looks much nicer, much thinner. Um, looks like it fits the shot more. And that looks pretty nice so far. What you can do next is if you wanted to customize the colors and what it says is your title here. So you can change. I just show you what that is. That's the title there. Um, before we go into that, actually, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the line and stuff. So on your controls here, you have the color of the line and then you have the color of the square. So change it to whatever you want. Next, I'm just going to open this title here so you can just double click that to open it and uh, you can see there's uh, the circle here you can have the circle any side of your title here um, so to just put it on the left side here to show you how to do that I'm just gonna grab the position by pressing P and I'm just gonna adjust it. I'm gonna hold shift to make it go faster and let's drag it down this way a bit and that looks okay if I go back into the earth composition, you can see the dot appeared here, but you can see this line is still here. So to change that, I'm going to press Y on my keyboard, or I can go and get the anchor point tool here. And I'm just going to move it and I'm going to hold shift because it's exactly in the same line, uh, the same plane. So I'm going to just drag it until I see that's pretty much centered. Now I can do is grab the handle here. Whoops, I need to get my selection tool again. I'm going to drag that that side and this I'm going to lock this background here so I don't mess with that. I'm going to grab this start and I'm going to put it where I, wherever I want essentially. And I'm going to unhide that so that I can not mess around with it. So now we have that. You can have this dot on any side you want. That's pretty neat. Um, but to go back into here to how to customize it. So let's see here. So text number two, that's the design here. So if I just double click it, I can say whatever I want. So for example, 
I can do Murray, I can make sure it's selected, I can scale it down to whatever size I want. And then to change its position, I'm just going to select it, grab my position tool, select the position. I'm going to go to the first keyframe. And I'm just going to move it over just a little bit to the right. And then I'm just going to go in the middle here so I can see it. Okay, I need to do more. So go back to that first keyframe, move it over a bit more. And then I'm going to go in the middle here so I can see the title. Yeah, let me scale it down a little more just to make it fit a bit better. Just kind of tweak it to however I want it to look. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And then you can change the text here. So, so you can see the yellow box kind of stays with the text, which is nice. And if you want to make that bigger, you can just select the scale, uh, sorry, select the text first. And you can just scale it to whatever size you want and the box will do exactly the same. That's kind of the, the box is the slave to the text, essentially. So anything you do to the text, the box will do. Nice thing is, is if you go to your controls here, adjust the slider to make the border of the box bigger or smaller, however you like it. And then additionally, you can change all the colors you want. And if we go back into that composition, you can see it's updated here. There's your call out and that bounces in nicely and nice movement, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to adjust the how long the text is on screen or the, the titles on screen, what you can do is uh, in this text in this uh, layer here, you can see there's an in marker and an out marker. That's where this title starts or sorry, finishes its animation and then out is where it starts its outward animation, right? So if you just see here, you can see that it's still animating and when it hits the in marker, that's when the whole animation stops. And then if I go to the out marker, that's when that animation on the out starts again. So I can simply just drag this marker to wherever I want to make it shorter and that animation will start sooner. But you see, this is still gone, right? So what I do is I select the line and I select the square by holding control and I'm going to press U. I'm only going to press U once. I don't double tap it. Then I can see the keyframes here. I select those keyframes and I just drag it to where I think it would be. And you just adjust it to however you want. And there's that. So if I just play that, very nice. Very cool. And uh, that's, just, that's how you change how long it's on screen for. I'm just going to undo that so that I keep it all the same. Don't forget you can lock these so you don't have to interfere with them. Just don't lock the handle and the start because that's how you that's how you control all your tools here. And uh, you don't have to lock this. You can keep the eye icon off on here so that when you try and drag your square here, you won't select this accidentally and move stuff around. Um, you just simply keep that so that you can control the colors and stuff. Unless you don't want to play around with it, you can lock it. But it's up to you. And uh, ways to adjust or do pretty much your other titles is pretty much the same. If I'm just going to open this, I'll show you what this looks like. Um, it, you edit it just like I've just shown you previously. Um, they're all very, very similar. Um, just look different and they act a little differently. But the way you edit them is pretty much exactly the same. Um, and uh, one quick thing I'm going to show you is tracking this little box onto the subject so let me grab some video okay so i got my video here i'm actually just going to delete this earth in the background i'm just going to import this video this video is actually in 4k so i'm just going to scale it down to 50 percent that looks good now let's say i wanted to track this let's lock this just for a sec uh, let's say i wanted to track this onto i don't know this sand bunker here right I'm just going to have my title here because it looks okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock this background footage. I'm going to select it. I'm going to track motion. Once that goes through, I can zoom in onto my tracker. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger so I can see it when I'm zoomed out. Put it over the bunker. I'm pretty sure you know how to do this. So that's why I'm going through it pretty quickly. There's so many tutorials out there on how to use the camera tracker in After Effects. I'm just going to go to my first frame here. I'm just going to adjust that again. And then I just play forward my tracking. Okay, once that's done, I'm just not going to go through the whole thing because of time's sake. I'm going to 
let's see, I'm gonna edit my target once I've got all my tracking data, edit the target once it comes up and then I'm just going to select the tab here. I'm gonna to go to start because that's where the little box is that follows the subject. I'm gonna do okay. I'm going to do apply X and Y, do okay. And uh, you'll see that in the beginning here, it does stick with it. Um, but I don't, I didn't track all the way through just because I, I was too lazy. So it's not going to be tracking from here onwards. But that's pretty much how you do it. Just make sure you track all the way through before you apply any target or anything like that. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe you learned something new. That's pretty cool if you did. If not, eh, whatever. Um, but it is a very useful tool. Um, I like the power of it. And uh, it definitely took a lot of time to put into. So I really appreciate any of your support. But remember, until next time, keep smiling, keep shooting. And before you go, thank you so much for your support. There's a link on the screen. You can go ahead and download these and use these in your own projects. And I would also appreciate any feedback you may have as well.